welcome back another video on our channel and today it's all about magazines and magazine pouches what you see here is a wide array of magazines we use in the airs of toby of course every magazine you see here has the same caliber it's always six millimeter bb in the real world of course we see here a very varied mix of magazines um, starting with a 5.56 G36, um, 2.556 M4, a standard metal one and a polymer one, then also 5.56 uh, Steyr AUG or Sturmgewehr 77 and above a uh, AK magazine for the 7.62 millimeter Russian cartridge. On the other side we see some other magazines like two magazines for um, double row 9mm pistols, standard speed loader, uh, SVD 7.62 by 54 magazine for the SVD or SVU, an HK 417 style magazine for rifles using this caliber and two classics the m14 and the g3 magazine the m14 being also a stand-in for the fn far the l1a1 and of course the fn scar heavy which uses nearly identical magazines now my question would be if you imagine for yourself that you own at least one rifle or one gun using one of these distinct magazines. Um, what do you think? How many mag pouches would you need to store everything properly when you go to a airsoft match? Think a, uh, think a bit about it and we will come to a short conclusion in a second. So, if your answer was bigger than two I hate to break it down to you, but you were wrong, because these are the new Bigardi Universal Magazine Pouches and with them you only need two types of magazine pouches for all magazines covered here. We have the Battle Rifle Pouch, which is for the wider 7.62 magazines in the Closed. Uh, sorry, in the open and in the closed configuration. And here we have the 5.56, but also in the closed and the open configuration. And you see some other parts too. And of course, you have seen also the pistol magazines on the table. And I will explain why. The short and the long magazine pouches come with two distinct features. One feature is they come with two elastic strips and lockers for the magazines. They are removable so if you don't want to use it you don't have to use it. And also they come with a velcro in divider that can be velcroed in here or here. This enables you to use the magazine pouches as a split pouch and with the two elastic uh, straps you can secure two magazines, two slim magazines in one pouch. So for example you can use two 9mm MP pouches, uh, magazines, I'm sorry, in one pouch, secure them and if you remove one the other one won't wobble around because it will be still fixed in its own compartment. But you can also remove the compartment and then use it for normal 5.56 or 7.62 um, magazines. You also see on the table the two lids, the flaps, and basically you will think, okay, easy, long flap for the long pouch, short uh, flap for the short pouch, but this is also not right because with every pouch you will get two flaps. So, for example, if you use the short pouch together with pistol 
magazines, you use the short flap. If you use the short pouch together with a SMR17 magazine, you will use the long flap. There are some more details um, with these flaps because you see the open configuration does not have a velcro, but here's velcro. I will show you these features later on. This is the general overview over the magazines. Of course, the elastic straps can be used um, with a two-strap two or cord configuration, but it can also use with a one cord or zero cord configuration. You can remove them all together. Okay, here we are back and we start with a battle rifle pouch. The battle rifle pouch is now in the configuration as it is in its state of deliverance when you get it. Uh, not 100% because when you get it one of the flaps will also be mounted. And you see you have two elastic straps. So what you can do with this you take two double stack 9mm uh, magazines. In this case it's for um, four o'clock replica. And you secure both magazines with each cord. Um, on the plus side now is if you remove one the other one is still safe. So it is like if you have two single CQP mag pouches for pistol. But this is of course the battle rifle pouch. So most likely you will not buy it as a pistol pouch with a little flick you remove the divider and on the back the cords are attached as single cords that means every cord is attached in its own And by opening the knot, you yep, remain with a pretty standard magazine pouch. You can now take an SVD magazine, cram it in, attach the cords, and you have a magazine pouch for your SVD or SVU. But you can, of course, do the same with a with M14 or L1A1 or FN Scar Heavy. It's just a normal rifle pouch. And of course, it also takes the big boys, like here for the SMR17. So you have also your bigger DMR Max covered. And the same applies, of course, for the rifle magazine. Here we have two polymer style MP5 9mm mags. And you may remove one. And the other one is still snug as a bug and secured. Of course, with this pouch, same applies. You have two knots on the back. Remove the magazines. We loosen the cords a little bit and they are as you can see, it's pretty easy. You remove one, you keep one. And of course, if you want 
to store bigger magazines, you have to remove the inner part so it's open. And now you can decide if you want to use it with a metal magazine. With a polymer, it's all up to you, and of course, you can even get a old school AKM banana mag. Don't remember, uh, always remember the banana mag doesn't come with a free banana phone. So, that's basically all the features you would expect from. A normal open type magazine pouch. Now of course we also have the cover flaps and they are also a little bit special and we show you why. You might already have guessed it because here is no velcro and here is velcro. We show you the details in a second. We are now go into the details of the closed version of the pouches and their configurations. They are now um, the battle rifle pouch and the assault rifle pouch um, configured with a short flap and for example if we pack it up with a classic G3 rifle magazine you see closes like this and you have a safe and secure magazine. But you might also want to use your other new gun HQ417 style and of course you will realize something is missing. There's a little bit of um, yeah trouble in the barrel ice. But, fear not, we have a solution because, as you might remember, each pouch comes with two different flaps. To attach the other flap, you velcro it in a little bit. So, that's a little trick. So, if it's velcroed in on the front, you yeah, you cannot attach it in the wrong position. So, just pull them straight down. I just closed them simple, just for the showing effect. And now you will realize, again, the magazine pouch is snug and fit with a large magazine. And if you, for example, decide you want to switch back to the M14, you take the small flap, exchange it, and you're good to go. And of course, the same applies for the rifle. The rifle is now configured with um, the short flap. Yep. And you can use this one, for example, with the M4, and you will see it's a little bit short. Of course. If you have a shorter M16 style magazine, it will fit. So if you now decide you want the bigger polymer 35 round style, you put it in and again you remove the flaps. Now that the flap is removed. You again attach it loosely with a velcro and and here we go fit and snug. Now it can also happen that you have a real large magazine like these AK magazines 
and you will notice well okay it closes up but it's not so great there's another trick you can do to show you briefly because as you have seen before the open type style pouch does not have velcro why is that because the velcro pad itself is also a molly attachment or pulse attachment in the non-american world and you can remove this you can move it down if you have even shorter magazines or you can move it one step up so it will stand out like here and then of course you can close it again with a real large magazine and a little trick when this pouch also this pouch comes delivered this velcro pad will be only very loosely be weaved in this is on purpose because we don't know um, what configuration you want to use and if we weave it in absolutely tightly you will have some work to remove it therefore it's only very loosely uh, tucked in place if you want to fix it in the most secure and in the most rugged way you start uh, you start from the bottom um, you weave it in like a normal molly pouch and you close it up on the top of the pouch uh, on the top of the brim and this will be the safest and most rugged version or um, way to attach the counter velcro pad well that sums up the accessories and the pad here we are back for a last showdown with our main protagonists we showed you everything we had feature wise or what you should know about the pouches of course they are also available in German Como and they will be available in other commas later but OD Green and German Como Flecktarn is the setup now the pouches are of course made from nylon not polyester you will have also bar stitching on all um, exposed seams or stressed seams they are all reinforced you will have high quality cord high quality webbing and high quality hook and loop tape like with all the other uh, pouches plate carriers assault packs etc we have in our line and our goal was to provide you with two different magazine pouches that will cover everything everything is a little bit bold as a claim because for example you might have a hard time to stuff some UMP 45 magazines into the rifle pouch and you will be completely out of luck with a FN P90 because it's a very exotic personal de defense weapon on the other hand with the battle rifle pouches you can cover um, the FN4, the FN SCAR, the M14 series with the M1A1 you can cover Russian sniper rifles like the SVD, the SVU you can um, cover 7.62 magazines for the AK for RA, uh, rare uh, AK variants you can cover sniper magazines longer sniper magazines you can even cover as we showed you pistol magazines and with a rifle magazine pouch there's probably no limit um, everything 5.56 or even uh, 7.62 if it's a slim magazine every assault rifle magazine will fit the typical Russian 7.62 magazines no problems all 5.56 uh, uh, magazines all NATO magazines the Austrian Steyr Oak as we showed you 
they will all fit and you will have a system where you configure your load bearing equipment, your plate carrier one time and if you decide some minutes before I went you want to take the other rifle you take the other rifle because you know the magazines will fit nevertheless and you will not have to make you yourself uh, uh, worries or worry that you have to buy new pouches if you buy a new rifle these are universal rifle magazine pouches and they are really universal these two pouches will cover approximately 90 to 95 percent of every rifle you will own you own now or will own in the future and this was our goal to minimize um, the cluttering to minimize the clustering and to provide proper equipment for many uses I hope you like them. If you use them, please send us your feedback, send us your images, how you configured them, how you set them up for you. And as always, send your feedback. We are very happy to communicate. We hope you liked the video and we are happy that you spent the time with us. We see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe, stay good and take care. Have a good time.